Yo, what's going on guys? So today we're going to be talking about the signs that you are friend zone. Uh, so I actually got a comment on a recent video about a guy thinking he got friend zone. So this is what prompted me to make this. And guys, we all been there. All of us, even YND is guilty of this. We so blind. We so blind because we got the imagination to get into the pussy, get in the girl. That we don't even realize that we never going to get the girl or get the pussy. So I'm about to show y'all some signs because a lot of us be blinded by our own thoughts. We, we, we missing what's right in front of us. All right. So go ahead. Hit that like button. Comment. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe for more dating videos and dating content and all that. So let's get into this. All right. So first, she calls you things like buddy, bro, homie, or homeboy. Now... I do know that there's some little Tom girls out here, right? Oh, manly ass girls who, you know, they might say stuff like this, even though she might still like you. But by and large, guys, if a girl is calling you buddy or her bro or her homeboy and she kind of messing with you, talking to you like that, or she texting you or referring to you, especially to her friends and stuff is you her buddy or you her bro or you her homeboy. OK, this ain't. This ain't really, this ain't it. This means you probably friend zone, okay? This means you friend zone, bro. So a lot of times with the girls I talk to, you want girls, they calling me, um, like if they talking to their friends, they might say, that's my nigga, right? Not like my nigga, like I would call you my nigga, like, oh, you my nigga, what's up, my nigga? But more like, no, that's my man, like my man, right? My nigga. Or they'll, they'll, if they talking to me, they'll say love. They'll call me love or they'll call me my love or they might call me handsome. Or, if, you know, once they get there, especially real quick, how I roll with me, they calling me daddy. They calling me poppy. They calling me sexy. They calling me handsome. These are the type of terms, you know, uh, or, or the girl telling you that you fine or things like this. You want to hear stuff like this from women, okay? Okay, if you're hearing that homeboy stuff, you friend zone, bro. Number two, and just so y'all know, these are not in any particular order. Okay, so you need to stay to the end and hear all of these because these are all stuff and signs that done happen to me. And this is how I'm going to be able to tell y'all because it doesn't it done happen to me. So watch out for all these signs. They in no particular order. Let's keep going. I got eight of them. Eight of them. It says, number two, she won't set a date. Okay, so this is basically like. Uh, if you've been trying to set a date, which is what I teach, try to set the date real early. Don't spend a lot of time talking to these girls, trying to just be their friend or some shit. We trying to take them out. We trying to get into a romantic setting one on one. Right. A lot of girls that uh, actually every girl that see you and, and has put you in a friend zone. She is not going to want to do this. OK, she is not going to want to do this. She's not going to want to do anything that can look romantic or give you that wrong idea to that extent. So she, you will not be able to set a date with this girl. OK, number three. She will not be alone with you. Now, this is different than a date because being alone could be you invited to your house. Being alone could be y'all meet at a mall just to hang out. It don't necessarily got to be y'all sitting down at a table, you know, across from each other like a date. But she will not be alone with your ass. Now, the reason why she don't want to be alone with you is because she don't want to be seen with you. Right. Because basically what you are is a friend and you a damn cock block to other guys that might want to come up to her and come talk to her. So she don't want to be seen with your ass because if she's seen with you, then the assumption is. This is your this could be her boyfriend or something. She don't even want that label on her with you. You are a friend to her. She don't find you attractive like that. This this is no attraction here, right? This is out of the world. She can't even see herself sleeping with you, right? That's how she's telling herself. And that's what the friend zone basically is. Okay. The next thing here, number four, is no physical contact. So if somehow she does hang out with you, bro, which a lot of times the girl will not hang out with you one on one if y'all been friend zone. But if she does, this is the worst sign of them all, because this mean that basically <laughs> she see you as one of the girls so much that she's actually OK with hanging out with your ass. But she don't want to be touched by you and she don't want you to. Uh, she's not going to touch you. OK, so if, if when you with a girl that like you, bro. The girls gonna want to touch you like every time like the girls they want to especially if you work out and shit and they like you but even if you don't work out they just gonna want to feel you they want to touch your chest they want to grab your arms this is the shit that i get when i'm and this is let me know okay this girl she really likes me right she trying to touch me she wants to hold on to me even if it's just talking in the middle of conversation she just wants to be playful and put her hand on your hand or her hand on your leg or your arms or your chest do y'all see what i'm saying so this girl she's not gonna do no physical contact at all okay Number five, joking around, friendly vibe. Okay, so if y'all got like this little like, 
friendly vibe like you do with your homeboy or y'all just joking y'all talk shit about each other and all this stuff guys y'all need to stop doing that shit i know a lot of you guys you think you fucking mr funny man but i'll be trying to tell y'all to stop making all these damn jokes and creating that type of vibe and, and and another thing is with women that's not in the friend zone you'll kind of feel this uh and you'll be able to build this this sexual tension type of vibe right when y'all talking it's like between a man and a woman who's attracted to each other and it's this sexual tension flirtiness kind of going on it's not going to be this jokey friendly ha ha you know type of vibe i'm not saying that y'all won't laugh but what I'm telling you is you'll be able to know it's, it's too fucking friendly. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It, it's too friendly. That's you in the friend zone. Number six, she sits and tells you about her boyfriend and guy problems, okay? Or worst case, her fucking hookups. God, do not be that nigga that's li sitting there listening to her damn problems, guys. But if the girl wants to sit and tell you about her problems, the key thing here is if, especially if you have not had sex with this girl, if you have not had sex with this girl, you are in the fucking friend zone. If she is calling you on the phone and y'all sitting in the fucking bed with your damn feet kicking back there, you on the phone with Melinda like you a damn school girl with a damn crush, you kicking your feet, you twirling your motherfucking hair, and she calling you telling about her problems, you are friend zone. You are friend zone. And by talking to her, I want you to understand, you're not going to get no relationship, no ass, no pussy, not even a kiss. You ain't going to get a motherfucking thing from her ass. She just going to keep using you for your free attention attention and for you to be her fucking counselor do you are you a fucking counselor bro that's why i don't do this shit do i look like a fucking therapist hell nah so i'm not about to sit here and listen to our problems and i damn sure do ne never let the girl sit and talk to you about her motherfucking boyfriend like what the fuck are her guy problems and shit you definitely friend zone okay here's another one right here Let's say you try to escalate the relationship. You finally grow some motherfucking balls because most of you guys, you sit in this situation for way too long. But let's say you finally get some balls after two years of being dicked around and waiting like a damn dog on a leash. You finally say, you know, I'm going to just tell her the truth. I'm going to just tell her the motherfucking truth. I like your motherfucking ass, girl. I like you and I want you. Now, what you say? She might say something like this. I don't want to ruin our friendship or you're a nice guy. You know, um, our relationship, you know, how it is right now is better. I don't want to take it to that or something like that. Okay, this is bullshit. That better off as friends bullshit. But basically what she's saying is, you motherfucking friend zone. I do not see you as somebody I could open my legs to be in a relationship with. I don't see you like that. So I'm going to say that our relationship is better like this or I don't want to ruin what we have here. How the fuck can you ruin it? It's actually, it's more fulfilling to any woman to have an actual man, right? A, a real man that she fuck with that she can come talk to and she can fuck than it is for her to just have some motherfucker on the phone that she just yapping away to. They just be bullshitting, but don't fall for this shit. If she say this, you are friend zone. Do not stick around thinking you're going to get it out of that. Move the fuck on. I'm trying to get you guys to have more of an abundance mindset, you know, and a, and, and a mindset that's like, okay, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Move the fuck on. Next one right here. And this is the last one. This is number eight. She might say something like this. You know, if she's complaining about a guy or something, she might say, you know, Steve, Y and D, oh, actually, let me not use me, motherfucker. That don't happen to me. But she might say, you know, Steve, I wish I had a guy like you. You know, I wish I had a, a guy as nice as you or as respectful as you. I done had girls tell me this shit, guys, back in uh, middle school and high school. The girls would think I was cute and they would tell me I was cute. But I would fuck it up along the way, okay, doing some shit. And the way I carried myself, she would put me in the friend zone. And then the girls say something to me to the effect of like, you know, I wish I had a guy that was as nice as you. Or, or I wish I had a guy like you. And I'm sitting around looking like, I am a guy like me. What the fuck you talking about? What you mean you want a guy like me? I am a guy like me. I'm right here. Goof ass. You see what I'm saying? It's, you, you see what I'm saying? They say this shit to you. You are friend zone. So these are all the eight signs of being friend zone, guys. Uh, the guy in the video, he said something to the effect of like, you know, I watched a video that said if she uses these heart type of emojis, you're friend zone. None of that shit means that, guys. The, the, the shit that's, everything I went through here is 100% means you friend zone. And these are usually going to be in the dynamics or she not going to want to be around you. It's going to be the atmosphere that y'all have. It's going to be what she talks to you about. Okay, she not going to want to set dates. She not going to want to be alone with you. She just going to use you for all your, your, your non-sexual free motherfucking attention. Okay, and she going to act like y'all the bestest friends while you over here with motherfucking blue balls mad as shit. Because you just trying to get the girl to see you for what you think you should be seen as. And what I want you guys to understand is if you seeing these signs okay 
Do not go watch my other videos and say, I'm about to apply these on her and make her have attraction for me. Guys, once you get in that motherfucking friend zone, I have fucked some girls that had me in the friend zone, but it's usually something drastic that changes. I want y'all to understand that. So like, okay, if a girl saw, I had a girl that saw me, she, I was in the friend zone in high school, right? Well, then I went to college. I started doing more of my music shit and I started getting, uh, I started doing like this little tour I used to do like around the c country. I used to go to different high schools and we would sing. And perform. And when I was doing that, my, my Instagram numbers, my social media presence, I had some little viral videos of me singing some shit pop off. And then when I came back from college, I, I was also working out. So when I came back, the girls, they saw me in a different light. There was other girls that liked me. So that raised my uh, my sexual market value, my pre-selection. It made her think like, okay, he not the fucking dweeb dork that I thought he was, right? Or whatever they viewed me as, or he not just this. But but to even do that, she has to already find you physically attractive. Already. Before, before she friends on you, she thought she was physically attractive. But it was probably something you did that put you in the friend zone. And I'm going to talk about that in another video. But yeah, these are all the signs right here that you friend zone. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.